Hi, I'm Taka. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to introduce karinto, a traditional Japanese sweet. Karinto is a deep fried snack and its main ingredients are flour, water, sugar, yeast, and salt. Although there are various theories, the origin of karinto was brought about by Japanese missions to Tan China in the Nara period from 710 to 794. The sweets from Tan China were luxury products and only the upper class could enjoy them. About 850 years later, mid Edo -Ed period, finally ordinary people could get karinto. At that time, they needed the flour dough, made it stick-shaped, then fried it. It became the prototype of karinto. According to Yamawaki Seika's website, the contemporary karinto we eat was released in 1875. Idaya in Asakusa, Tokyo started selling karinto. They kneaded the dough, shaped it like a stick, fried it, then mixed it thoroughly with brown sugar syrup. White sugar was costly at the time and hard to obtain, so they picked brown sugar. The brown sugar's sweet and straightforward flavor became popular. I learned Karinto's history and I feel that Karinto is a very special sweet to me now. I will be reviewing two flavors from Tokyo Karinto. The company was founded in 1951 and they have produced Karinto for 70 years. There are three unique points from Tokyo Karinto. Number one is honey. They mix honey with the dough. The yeast becomes active digesting honey in the process of fermentation. Then the snack becomes soft. Number two, to make crispy snacks, they fry them three times at different temperatures using large cauldrons. Number three, to keep the snacks fresh, they fill inert gas when packing. The reference price of the package is 198 yen, about 1.80 US dollars, and it contains 110 grams. Nutrition facts and allergen alert are in my blog article. If you want to know it, please check it out. The first one is Krohachi and it means black bee. The current dough is coated with brown sugar syrup. Each piece is of different sizes and weights. Itadakimasu. It's so sweet and crispy. The brown sugar syrup part is moist and rich. It has a hearty taste. You might notice karinto is made of flour, sugar, and oil. It means calories, carbohydrates, and fat are high. It's devilishly delicious and addictive. I need to set aside small portions and put them in multiple bags before eating to stop myself from devouring the whole package. The second one is shirohachi and it means white bee. The karinto is coated with white syrup made of granulated sugar and soft brown sugar. Each piece is of different sizes and weights. Itadakimasu. It's so good and crispy. The granulated sugar flavor is so good with the fried snacks. This one is also hard to resist. You can't stop it. It's good for snack time. I'm lucky not to be born in the Nara period because I could not have eaten karinto in my life. I revealed two flavors of karinto from Tokyo Karinto today. Kurohachi and Shirohachi are so good. Both of them are like Grand Slam homers. I feel happy human beings have been attracted by sweets for many years. To know what delicious product I'll be reviewing next, 
stay until the end of this video to find out what it is. If you like my video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. またね!